My name is Audrey. I work for Delta County Libraries and today I am introducing Build Like an Egyptian. It's part of our summer reading program for children ages 6 to 12 and this summer's theme is Imagine Your Story. So I thought it would be so much fun if we imagined that we were living in Egypt a long, long time ago. So we are going to learn how to build our own pyramid, make our own Pharaoh's headdress, and discover what our mythological name is. Each library is providing a take-home kit. And in that take-home kit is your mythological name generator sheet. All you're going to need to know is your birth date. The month is in one column and the day is in another column. So for example, my birthday is September 13th. So in September, I look down and it says formidable. And on the 13th, it says pixie. So my mythological name is Formidable Pixie. And I think that just goes along perfectly with my ears. What do you think? <laughs> so now are you ready to make your own Pharaoh's headdress? The items that you will need from home are scissors, a glue stick, and then either markers, crayons, or colored pencils, or whatever else you want to use to decorate. In that take-home kit, we're going to provide the template for your headdress. So you'll need to color or design or decorate or whatever you want to do, and then you want to start cutting. So let me show you my cutout one. See the dotted lines here on your cutout? So you want to make sure that you cut all along the dotted lines. Don't cut all the way, but just where the dots are. And you want to line it up with the other dots. So see how this piece is going to go in front of this headband, this orange headband. And when you glue it on, look, it's already starting to look like a Pharaoh's headdress, don't you think? So on one of those sheets of paper, you need to cut a strip because that's the part that you're going to make that goes around your head. So you're going to want to make sure that you measure your head and get it the right size and attach that extra strip to the headband part. So let me show you my finished one. Here it is. Let me get it on for you. I used yellow, blue, and black, but you can use whatever colors you want and design it and decorate it however you want your Pharaoh's headdress to look. All right, I think I'm as excited as everyone else to learn how to make your own Egyptian pyramid, right? What you're going to need are blocks or shapes of the exact same size. So sugar cubes are really good to use. Um, I chose Lego pieces, but you know what? If you have those little alphabet blocks, whatever you have, that's what you want to use. And then that's how you'll determine the size, depending on how many blocks you have. So I chose Lego pieces. And you want to make sure that they're all the exact same size of Lego pieces or sugar cubes or blocks or whatever else you're going to use. Let me show you what I started. On here, the base is five Legos of the exact same size on each side. And then as you move a step up, it's then four on each side. And then you move a, le a level up and you guessed it, it's three. So let me show you, we're gonna move a level up and I'm gonna put one here and one here and that 
is the second level. So let's finish this side. And look, it's two on every side that you look at. And so, of course, the very top one is just one piece. I want to show you the bigger pyramid I made out of some of my son's Lego pieces. This is a base of nine. So there are nine equal parts for the base on every side. So when you move up, then there's eight equal pieces, and then seven, and then six, and then when you get all the way to the top, there's just the one left. I would love to see the pyramid that you came up with and created all on your own. So please make sure you send me a picture in the comments below so I can see it and tell you what a great job you did. Well, I had so much fun with you. I hope you have fun too. It's not too late to sign up for summer reading. So if you haven't already, oh, it's all right. Go to deltalibraries.org and register today. <laughs> see you later.